Tiggies, I hope you're all doing well out there. Now today is pretty exciting because I'm going to be showing you a fancy new collection. This is called the Stereosonic Collection. It's going to be available on my website. And yes, it does glow in the dark. Oh, it's so exciting. Anyway, I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm starting off with a white base and that's simply, I mean, the biggest reason was, is because it's going to make the colors really, really pop. Now, uh, obviously, because I'm doing water marble, I need to protect the skin around my nails, so I'm using a liquid latex product. Uh, you can use tape if you want to, and that's what I used to use, but liquid latex does work really well. Next, we're going to be uh, using, obviously, as I've always said, just regular tap water, which I put into a container uh, and just leave it there for a couple of days. And that sort of settles it down. I don't know what it actually does to it, but anyway. And then we're going to put in our bullseyes in the water of all five of these gorgeous polishes. And I'll just let you know while you're watching this, the pink is called Party Pink. The orange is called Rave Orange. The techno, or sorry, the yellow is called Techno Yellow. The green is called Slime Green and the blue is called Bang and Blue. Now, for those of you who haven't done uh, water marble before, please give it a go. I know it's frustrating. I know it's frightening. I know that especially those who don't normally do it will look at this and go, oh my gosh, she's a witch. And well, probably I am, but it's not really the case. It's just that I practiced a lot. And I mean, even this isn't perfect. And I, I, I had, hadn't done water marble for such a long time. Um, and you saw a water marble I did recently. It wasn't very good. So just a word to the wise, if you want to get really good at water marble, it is absolutely important that you practice and you practice and practice and you cry and then you practice some more because it is something that makes grown women cry <laughs> grown people cry it's like i'm not saying that boys aren't doing water marble too because i'm sure they are they're probably really good at it <laughs> but yeah it is very frustrating um but yeah, just practice. It's, it is fun and when you get it and when you do a really good water marble that one time, you will just, I mean, it, it, there's no feeling like it basically. So, I just give it a go. It's fun. It is fun. I promise you it's fun. I'm so sorry about the awkward camera angles, <laughs> but just look, just look at that on my nail. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I just love that so much. It's just, uh, mm. and you can see why the liquid latex is so important because can you imagine having to clean up all of that mess? Not fun. Also, even before I take the liquid latex off, I do like to do a little bit of clean, like pre-clean up, clean up, just around uh, the cuticle area because you don't want to be in a position where you go to pull off the liquid latex and then all of a sudden it takes off some of the design off of your actual nail because that would just be devastating after you've, you know, practiced and, you know, come up with this amazing design on your nail and then all of a sudden it gets ruined. So. Um, that's why I do that. I, you, you don't have to, but I, I found that works really well. If I if I do that, just a teeny, teeny tiny little pre clean up, clean up, sort of so to speak. And now once that's done, you can go ahead and peel off the liquid latex. Um, and as you can see, the, the tiniest, tiniest amount of uh, polish got on my skin above my first knuckle. So that's super easy to clean up. And there's no risk of um, accidentally getting um, or, or ruining your nail 
the nail art that you did. So next we just want to do the teensiest bit of cleanup. And for those of you who do enjoy it, enjoy. For those of you who don't, skip ahead now. We're going to do the other finger. Um, I only did two, um, I only filmed two of the water marbles. The first one, definitely my favourite, 100%. That actually goes to show you that even, even when you're doing a, a water marble with one hand, not all the fingers are going to turn out the way you want them to. And that's the thing about water marble, you have to. Um, you have to not put so much pressure on yourself and just have fun with it. If you don't have fun, it's not going to be fun. Well, it's not going to be fun. And then you'll never do it again. So you need to not take yourself too seriously and just give it a go. Once you've got all of your cleanup done and you're happy and your nail art is dry, you can go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. 
that's it for this one i really hope you liked it i absolutely adore how it came out now um i'm going to be sharing with you a lot more information about this collection and a heap of other collections that i hope you're going to fall in love with um and just stay tuned for all the details about that you're going to be I think pleasantly surprised. I hope you're going to be happy with what I've come up with, what we've come up with. So anyway, um, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and watch any of my previous videos if you're bored or you just want to. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.